What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the Empire's SMP once again. It has been quite a while since we've done a recap of this server. We've had a busy holiday as have some of the members of the Empire's SMP. So not even everybody has uploaded within the last three weeks or even the last month. Still though, a lot has happened since the last time we checked in on them. There are some new builds, although not many, and a lot of lore has taken place as well. From the Cod Boy trying to get the Cod Father head back, all the way up to a possible return of Zornoth, so much has happened over this last month, so let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We cover pretty much all things Minecraft. Let's jump right into today's video. First up today, we are checking out Solidarity Gaming, who, as I said, is trying to get the Codfather head back. This is actually pretty much the same place we left off with him uh, when we did our last recap, but so far he has been working harder and harder to get this head back and prove that he is worthy of it. One thing that he did very early on was to build a Cod Church, and this was to honor the Cod Fathers and hopefully get the head returned to him. Unfortunately, that did not work. He also went and spoke with Fwip, which was the first clip that we showed, and tried to make a deal with him uh, to not kill as many Cod and to kill more Salmon. Although this isn't really working out the way that he intended. Besides that, he has also joined a secret group, which as far as I know, only three members have joined so far. Of course, Catherine Elizabeth who created it, Mythical Sausage was the first, and now Solidarity. They have joined the secret group through solving the riddles and are welcomed into this amazing room as a part of Catherine's base. Next up, Fwip has been doing a lot of work partly to investigate Scott and see what this mysterious crystal is, which of course we know as the Zornoth crystal and as Shovel told him, Shovel went ahead and took the Zornoth crystal and tried to hide it in a safer place. Although we could also be looking at a return of Zornoth as we'll see later in Mythical Sausage's video, so we're really waiting to see how this storyline is going to play out. Definitely a lot of things are in motion and we may be seeing some dangerous beings such as Zornoth return to the server. Fwip also went ahead and built a small watchtower for himself on kind of the border of the Grimlands, so hopefully he is able to get a better understanding of what the other empires are doing from this watchtower. And although we haven't seen much content from Gemini Tay over the last few weeks, we did actually get to see her healed by Catherine Elizabeth after Scott accidentally froze her. Catherine went ahead and brewed up a potion and tossed it onto Gemini Tay, which pretty much immediately healed her. So it is very fortunate that she is healed, and maybe now some things can start to be repaired with Scott. And since the last time we checked in on the server, a lot has happened with Joey. Joey actually became the Emperor for a short while, and he also went ahead and built up a tower for LD Shadow Lady that he promised to build her after losing in the Battle of the Heads earlier on in the season when they competed to collect more animal heads. LD Shadow Lady went ahead and provided him a plan of how to build this. All he had to do was place down all the appropriate blocks where they're supposed to go, and he even added a few more of his own, setting a trap for LD Shadow Lady. The trap was very slow, but it did sort of work as she did fall into the cobwebs below, but she did not fall into the lava further below. She managed to avoid that and avoid death at least. Besides the newly built tower in her empire, she also wanted to create a reverse aquarium, I guess I could say, where she actually brought in land animals and put them underneath the water, the same way that folks on land would go ahead and build aquariums for all the fish of the sea. I think this is a brilliant idea and fits in amazing with her kingdom, and now she can go and look at all these earthly animals in these little pods that she built underneath the ocean empire. As I mentioned before, we may be looking at a return of Zornoth, and this is mostly from one of the mythical sausage videos that came out very recently, or rather two weeks ago. This was the last we have seen from mythical sausage, as he's been working a lot on his hardcore series since the 1.18 release. But here was an entire Zornoth mon monologue that I highly suggest you go and check out in mythical sausage's video to get a better understanding. Besides that, Mythical Sausage also went ahead and built up the rest of his castle, fully completing the exterior of this build. As long as he stops crossing back and forth into the spirit realm, maybe we won't really see anything else with Zornoth play out as far as Mythical Sausage is concerned. 
Although this castle is looking absolutely amazing, I'm really loving all the details he's putting into this. I think each section took him about four to six hours to complete, so in total this build has taken him about 24 hours total I'd reckon, although my numbers could be completely off. I think this tower look looks absolutely amazing and I really love the time lapses that he shows because it really shows the building process that he goes through with this castle and how many of his ideas change throughout the actual building process. So many flat walls that he originally constructed were completely changed multiple times throughout the actual build and it shows how much work and detailing actually goes into a build such as this. Overall, Mythical Sausage has one of the best empires on the server. He's put so many builds into this empire, and this castle is really a great way to finish it off, adding this huge mega base at the end of the empire. We also haven't seen much from Pearlescent Moon over the last month, but she did actually have some major developments as her beanstalk is concerned. This thing has gotten absolutely huge and she's even debating the possibilities of building on its leaves once it gets a little bigger. She's still working out a lot of plans on that, but hopefully we do get to see some more content from her very soon. Besides that, we did get a brand new build from her and her empire, finally making the villager training hall. She already has the villagers to fill this villager training hall, all of her farming villagers, which will be able to trade melons and pumpkins with to get emeralds, also to get golden carrots as well, which she can then resell to the other empires, and also she can trade with librarian villagers to get all the enchantment books she could need. She'll definitely probably be needing this, as she did lose pretty much all of her items when she was attacked by a zombie after falling asleep while AFK. After Fwip helped her get back on her feet with some netherite ingots, she went ahead and built up this beautiful building that fits in great with the rest of her empire. Next up, Shubble has been seeing visions as well. This right here is a land which she would call her homeland, full of giant mushrooms and lots and lots of beautiful nature. This is right where Shubble came from, where she truly belongs. Unfortunately though, she went through another portal after seeing all this and wasn't able to return when she tried to show Fwip. When Fwip walked through the portal with her, all they were was in a basalt delta, which of course is not this beautiful land which you see here. Last but definitely not least today, Smallish Beans has been doing a ton of work on the interior of his megabase. The first thing he decided to do was to build up an automatic storage system for all of his items. This makes a lot of sense considering that these storage systems take up a lot of space and you really have to plan the rest of the build around that. Other than that, he also went ahead and constructed a dead horse for Joey. Joey, of course, requested horses from all the empires so that he could make more of uh, his army, but ended up not specifying his rule, and Smallish Beans went ahead and built this for him. I gotta say, I expect nothing less from him, and this was really a very funny little build that he did. Back in his own kingdom, now that the storage system is complete, he began constructing the rest of the interior. This is definitely going to be a very long time in the making, but the beginnings of it are really coming along. This is really looking great so far. I love all the uh, archways that he's built through here. It's really becoming a very cool build, especially with all the natural materials such as moss that he's using it. It's definitely going to be very interesting once it's finally complete. That is all that we have for you guys today though, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We'll be covering more of the Empire's SMP in the future as they begin to post more and more. We also cover Hermitcraft and basically all things Minecraft, so go ahead and check out our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.